to the nearest big town called Soissons and we went to their, ooh, that was one of the shutters, we went to um, a big market with loads of clothes, fresh fruit and veg, all that kind of jazz and to a couple of health food shops actually, so here's what we got. And in the fresh fruit and veg corner we have a rather large head of lettuce that I'm not entirely sure will finish to be honest. Then a couple of nice massive nectarines actually. But that is a pretty big nectarine right there. They look gorgeous, they smell amazing. Then some tomatoes, some nice vine tomatoes in there. Still on the vine, lovely. A couple of really cute little Mirabelle plums. They are teeny weeny and they're adorable and they're so sweet and tasty. Just mind the stone that's inside them because I nearly choked on one earlier. And a few little cherry tomatoes. And I'm probably going to put those in the length of bolognese that we're going to have for dinner and a nice fresh red pepper lovely and that was all dirt cheap actually i think we got all of that for seven euro so really cheap really fresh and looked really gorgeous lovely in bright colors and in the not entirely as healthy corner um here's what we got from two different health shops today the first one well, the first one was actually nearly closing for lunch, but God love them, the two ladies working inside there were so sweet and so accommodating, and they said that they would stay open for as long as we wanted to look around. And to be honest, they didn't have overly much vegan-friendly food in there, but they were running around the shop trying to find whatever they could, and they kept handing me stuff, and I didn't really want what they were giving me, but I kind of felt like I had to buy something because they were being so nice. So I bought these cranberry biscuits, which I haven't tried yet, but they look quite nice. And then some vegan milk chocolate as well, which was quite expensive. <laughs> but they were so enthusiastic that I kind of had to be enthusiastic back to them. Um, also quite nice though. Uh, tried that in the car and it's pretty tasty. Not bad. And it's vegan milk chocolate. So, you know, didn't expect to find that. Then we went to another bigger health food shop and there was more stuff there. But it was more of a sort of organic shop than a sort of vegan friendly shop. So there was a lot of organic milks and cheeses and meats there. But there were a few vegan bits and bobs. Um, there was this vegan mozzarella which looked really interesting. Apparently you can just slice it and eat it like fresh mozzarella. So looking forward to trying that. I think it's made out of rice, kind of rice milk. Should be interesting. Then we have these cute little red fruits biscuits. And they look really nice. I think they're made with cherries and strawberries and they're totally vegan friendly. Lovely. And then I got this, this was a bit of a risk, but I thought I might make it up tonight and see how it tastes. It's a coconut flan. Now it doesn't have the vegan symbol anywhere on it, but there's no animal products whatsoever in the ingredients. Um, the gelling agents are carrageen and agar agar. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So I'm gonna give this a go later. It might be a nice kind of cooling, refreshing dessert for after dinner. Hopefully it'll work. I've never tried making flan from a packet before or flan in general, but we will give it a go and see what happens.
from our little shopping excursion today and got some lovely few bits and bobs and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bonjour.